some of the less tickets punctuation that you should do, you know, um, this week in this new term. And um, yeah, then um, I'm also quickly going to tell you something. So you must take a notebook or something now and write this down. But on the 27th of July, you will be having a writing an Afrikaans assessment. It's going to be an informal assessment. As far as I know, I will be sending you the um, the test or the, the um, task, and you must do it. And then the next day, we're going to mark it. And um, we'll be covering everything that you did so far this year, but with the emphasis on, on what I've, did to, I've done with you now for this term so far. So we're going to do a poem tomorrow or Thursday, depending on how quick this lesson goes. And that poem I'm also going to put into the um, task for you guys. It's actually been uh, completed already, so it is in the task. Um, so um, you'll be doing a poem and then a few language stuff. My focus will most um, mostly be on, on word sorte. That's why I gave you all that um, um, PowerPoint. And we're also going to have a sentence or two from Stompy, I think, but we'll see about that one. I can't remember if it's a, a, that one or the grade eight one. I'll have a look. But um, in short, 27th of July, assessment week um, of Afrikaans. So then you're going to do an assessment or task. Um, and for now, please, guys, I'm here. If you struggle with, with a, con, with a, with a um, concept or something, I'm here to help you. Um, so please email me if, if you're struggling with the concept, guys. Um, and then I also want to quickly tell you what I said to you yesterday. In the drive, there is all the, um, the PowerPoints we did so far, as well as a note here and there that I would like you to go and study. And yeah, so that is, that is everything that I want to say beforehand, before this lesson. So then start with this lesson for this morning, this very cold morning in Gauteng. For those who live here, I hope you are warm. And let's start. So, leerstekens. We're going to do a few of the leerstekens today. Not all the leerstekens, but some of the punctuation um, in this um, chapter. So, we're going to focus on, for instance, punt in comma, which is the full stop in the comma, uitroepteken, exclamation mark and vraag taking the question mark so we're going to focus on that and then of course one of my favorite parts of this lesson is my quote for the day education is the key to success and it's written or uh, written by an anom anonymous person so education is the key to success i always like to add that reading is also the key to success guys if you can read and then you can get educated and education is the key to success so i hope you all got that and now, of course, let's have a look at what we're going to focus on. I said already, the full stop, the punt, the comma, the uitroepteken and the vraagteken. En dit is, om, dit is belangrijk dat jy weet hoe, hoe, hoe om hierdie leestekens te gebruik. So kyk gaan hier so, wat is een leesteken? What is punctuation? What is a punctuation mark, guys? And the first thing that you should know here is that Punctuatie of leestekens maakt het makkelijker voor ons om teksten te lezen. So it makes it easy for us to read a text. Which is quite obvious, guys. If we've got a text and um, it has got no punctuation in, for instance, no um, full stops and no commas and no um, nothing, then that text would, would, would be under, understandable in a way and it would also be um, annoying to read it and, and if you're really reading it with uh, concentration you might just faint because you will never have a breathing moment there so guys um it is important to know then how to how punctuation works it also makes a difference in the text as i said now and it helps us to understand the text better so that less tekens help us on the text better to verstaan and it can also um, influence um it can also have an influence on the meaning of the text, what we'll get there. Okay, so punctuation makes it easier for us to, um, to read text. It makes a difference in the text. Punctuation also sometimes helps us to understand the text, and it can also affect meaning in the text. All right, so let's go on here. It is important om leestekens te gebruik, kom ons leer nou verder. So the first one we're going to study this morning is the full stop in Afrikaans. The punt. Now that is a red dot or a dot that most of us sometimes forget at the end of a sentence. 
and for interest's sake, um, if you have to write a sentence down in the language part of the of the um, of the paper or test, and you forget to put in the full stop, then it might just be marked wrong. So, guys, always, always remember, put your punctuation in. A punt on the end of an alle sinne, but nie op vraag of uitroepteken eindig nie. In other words, we use a full stop at the end of each um, uh, at the end of each sentence, which does not end on a question or an exclamation. And then, by afkortings, bijvoorbeeld in plaas van, instead of is that afkorting in plaas van, so with uh, with afkortings, there's always a, um, a punt in. Punten word gebruikt by nommers, bijvoorbeeld 14.2.1, so it's always used with um, numbers. Uh, sometimes, sorry, algebra om vermenigvuldig en ander duid. This is an important one. We also use the full stop of the punt to indicate multiplication in algebra. Guys, one of you, the sound of your computer or something is on, and I can hear that in the background. So please just make sure you are muted. Please, I beg you. Okay, so just, just make sure that you are unmuted, please, guys. Thank you. Okay, so ne the next thing there, it can also be used with Taya, Bifubult 930, but um, in Afrikaans now, that was the old way of, of writing time with only the one full stop. They write it with the double pin today. Okay, and that is then um, pinned so far. Let me quickly hear from you guys. Do you all um, understand this? Would you all quickly just take a picture of this one? Please take a picture. Tatiana says, yes, ma'am, I do understand. Great, I'm happy to hear. <laughs> okay, then we can go on. All right, guys. Let me just see if my if my regulars are here. Yeah, so I see most of my kids are here. Savannah's back today. Great. Okay. So, um, then a comma, very important. Now with a comma, there can be a lot of confusion. Even me today, when I write something, I still struggle sometimes to to um sometimes I forget the comma or I put it in the wrong place. Um and, and I've been teaching for eight years and I studied Afrikaans. So it's so it's not something that you just um learn very quickly you must concentrate so there is the comma and there is a few guidelines for for grade seven that you have to know now first of all um usually i use a comma in between two um two verbs so it's hate hate of us us there will be a verb in between those always before the bastard words mar and want then when I um, name or when I when I say a few things like for instance opnum van a klomp goed apples pere limoenen apples pears oranges there's always a comma in between that but between the the second last and the last thing that you're mentioning there must be the word in in Afrikaans not a comma then tussen twee of meer bijvoeglijke naamwoorde bijvoorbeeld die intelligente gehoorzame kind between two or more adjectives for example, the intelligent, comma, gehoorzame kin. Both those are words, intelligent and gehoorzame is adjectives. Then, in the begin van a sin, na die persoon of persoon is in name. In other words, at the beginning of a sentence, after the person or person's names. For instance, Michael, comma, and then the rest of the sentence. Or Fizana, comma, and the rest of the sentence. Angelina, comma, and the rest of the sentence. Very important. Then, voor en na a postbeskrywing. Bijvoorbeeld, sorry, comma, a onderwijzer, comma. So it's before and after a job description. Sorry is the person, comma, she's a teacher, comma, and then the rest of the sentence. Very important. Then this one, guys. Voor a phrase wat by komende inlichting gee. Before a phrase, that provides additional information. Look at this example. Haar vriend, comma. Piet en Koos, komma, was by haar partijkie. So her friend, komma, Piet en Koos, komma, was at her party. That Piet en Koos is additional information that put, um, 
um, oh, that, that should be Frinda. Um, uh, that should, that's additional information that they've put in the sentence there. Then, can you remember this in verbsels? It's those words that's got an exclamation mark at the end. So, Eina, my kop is seer. So, it can also be used after a this in verbsel. Then, in maths, decimale breke, bijvoorbeeld 2.3 of 1.2, decimal, um, uh, I can't remember what breke is in, in English. Then, this in rand in cent, 2 rand 30, do you see there, there's a comma, 2 rand 30, comma, um, divides the rand and the cent from each other. And then, um, listen to here, daar, daar is nog heel wat meer, that's a typo, maar daarvan sal ons later aandag hier. So guys, for grade 7, um, as far as, as my information that I have, this is very important stuff that you should know now. Um, so please um, focus on this quickly. Take a picture. Okay, so that then is the comma. Then I've got another, I took this out of a very, very nice book. Maybe some of you have already have it. It's the Via Afrikaans EAT grade seven book. So I took this out there and, and this is also what grade seven should know there. Again, it is in two or more self-standige naamwoorde or byvoeglike naamwoorde. Look for instance here, meneer veld, mys eet koring, komma sare, komma kaas en milies. So again, when I name a few things, um, a, a, a few stuff and then there's a comma in between and then between the last word and the, the second last word and the last word, there is the word en instead of the comma. Then again, tis in a reeks werkwoorde, so, between, um, so it, it, it's in between um, verbs, gelach, gedans en gespring. You see there, Tussen twee gezegdes, guys, again, tussen twee werkwoorden. Voor die voegwoorden want en maar, bijvoorbeeld veldmeis is trots, komma maar. Niemand wil met zijn dochter trouwen. Very important. And then also something that I didn't mention them. Na die woorden ja en nee. Wanneer er die eerste woord in a sin is. For instance, when I have a sentence and it says ja, um, and it begins with the word ja or nee, then after that ja en nee should be a comma. Take a picture, very important. Okay, so then I'm going on. Um, right, can I quickly have an indication, guys, because I know the comma is quite something. Do you understand the comma? If I must go back, I'll, I'll really do it quickly. It's no problem. Okay, good to hear that most of you understand that. Okay, great, great, great. So then the, the next one is the eight rupteken, the exclamation mark. And um, this one is very short and sweet. Uh, guys, we're actually going through this lesson quite quickly, um, but we've got a very long activity. Goed, ons gebruik die eight rupteken om directe rede weer te gee. So when we um, a direct reason, marks a success, so it's an, it's an opdracht when I give a... Um, uh, 
when I give somebody something to do, mark so success, then I can use the exclamation mark as well. Then when I say, when I eat roop, when I say bafana bafana, when I'm excited to say something, when I'm um, sad, ach nee, dit kan nie wees nie, when I'm very sad or, or um, not happy to say something, spot, skop sien, maar die sien kan nie skop nie, when I'm, um, what's the word for spot in English? Um, when I tease somebody. And then for basing, when I'm, um, um, this is ongelooflik, when I'm, um, um, for bast, it's something, I don't know what the English word is. I'm sorry for my dogs there. And, uh, Wens, mag dit goed gaan met jou when I, when I have given a wish upon somebody which is very nice. And then of course it always comes at the end of a sentence. Soms by werkwoorde, bijvoorbeeld echo of builder. So um, you can just take a picture of that. And then they use it a lot of the time in advertisements. And it's usually used to, to drag something out. And in, in other words, guys, to, to, give a, um, to give meaning to something or to... to um, you know, to, to uh, maybe exp expose or emotion. All right, so take a picture of this one. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Huma Pele, for counting for us there. Um, guys, one of you is um, talking in the background again. Please unmute yourself or well, mute yourself. That's what I'm asking. Please, guys. I, I'm, something's happening in my ears when you do that. <laughs> okay. All right. The last one, the Frachtiken question mark. Look at this, this man, it's very, I think there's only one thing, <laughs> yeah, on the end of a specific of algemene vraags, and guys, when I, when I ask a question, and I write down a, a question, um, answer, um, or a question, it must have a question mark at the end of the sentence, even if it's a one word question, for instance, wat or waar, that word, if it's one sentence, must have a um, question mark at the end, so it's a very, very easy Easy thing to remember that, um, oh, sorry, and look at what I've done here. I said it's the eight and it should be the vraag teken. So remember the question mark always at the end of a sentence. Guys, I'm very quick this morning, but it's okay because the activity is long. So um, they say here, fill the unbreaking the commas, punt the eight tekens in vraag tekens. And now I've done this activity in another way. So remember, I always gave you the answer. Um, at the end of the sentence. I didn't do it this time because I want you guys to give me the answers. So there is the first sentence. You're going to type in the answer for me there in the chat box. Ek wil by my oma hulle gaan keier, maar my sister wil by die huis blij. Now, copy that sentence and fix it. They, somewhere, somewhere there should be a comma and somewhere there should be a full stop. See if you can quickly... Um, Fix that sentence for us. Type the correct sentence in the chat box, please.
Okay, must I choose somebody who's going to type in the answer for us there? Okay, Fizana says, I will by my oma gaan blij. Of my oma hulle gaan keier, maar koma. My sister will by die huis blij. Okay, guys, um, Fizana, you you've, um, must just remember the comma becomes fro, um, in front of the maar. Um, okay, just, 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 just a moment. Sorry, I'm just drinking my coffee. Let me type in the correct answer for you there. Aye. Hi, Yefra, truly sorry that I have to leave this class. I take another class with another system and they keep clashing. I'm really sorry, ma'am. It's okay, Savannah. I'll just put in the... Uh, the PowerPoint for you guys on the drive when I'm done. Okay, so um, Tiana and Fizana, you were almost there. Man, my sister will be houseboy. Mar. So I don't understand this. Okay, all right. So there is the answer. Remember, in front of Mar, there is a comma. You see there? And a full stop at the end. Guys, that's a very easy thing. Always, always, always look if they, whether there should be a full stop, exclamation mark, or a question mark. Autocorrect is annoying. Yeah, I know. Don't worry, I've got that on my phone as well. Okay, guys, next sentence. Wanneer gaan jylle nou weer met vakantie? Wanneer gaan jylle nou weer met vakantie? Is there something that needs to be fixed in that sentence? Have a look. Take your time. Does they sh should be, there be something in there? Should there not be something in there? Wanneer gaan jylle nou weer met vakantie? It's a very easy one. <laughs> Okay, so Tiana says, I'm not sure. The okay, so listen, guys, this sentence is perfect as it is. Wanneer gaan jylle nou weer met vakantie? Um, there shouldn't be a comma in there, really. So, uh, so there is just a, a question mark at the end of the sentence, and that is correct as it is. The next one. Die man het reisvleis en aardappels geëet. I see, I see, at least, yeah, I see two stuff that should be in here. Die man het reis, vleis en aardappels geëet. Fix the sentence. He needs to go to the hospital. He's very sick. You must fix the sentence. Okay, guys. And Angelina says, the man had rice, flies, and articles here. Go. Correct, correct. Uh, so there should be a comma between rice and flies, and there should be a full stop at the end. That's the easy part, guys. Just full stop. Go and look for that immediately. The man had rice, flies, and articles here. Full stop. And there you go. Guys, interesting, just so, so you know, if you want to get the deal taken here um, to type it in, then you type in Alt 137, then you will get that one. And if you want the copy, it's Alt 136. Okay. So for the, oh my word. So for that one, it's Alt 137, and for 
this one it's um alt 136 interesting for you guys to remember all right so there you have it okay um just off topic you know all right guys so then there is the following one near jy moet dit nou gaan doen near jy moet dit nou gaan doen i see two stuff try it near jy moet dit nou gaan doen Guys, where is iPhone these days? Is he also he supposed to be in this class? Do you think he skip he skips class a lot? Okay. And Tiana says, Nia, jy dit nou gaan doen. Okay, so just check that you copy the sentence correctly. Um, correctly, and this it is yes, it is correct. I can't even speak this morning. I think it's too cold here in Gating. Yay. Moet dit no gaan doen. And that is it. Very, very well. Um, he goes to other classes though. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, well, I miss, I miss, I miss him. I like it when all my kids are here. Okay, so there you go. Nia, jy moet dit no gaan doen. Correct. You guys are clever. Okay, next one. Nicolas, jy behoort jou te skaam. Nicolas. Jy behoort jou te skam. Okay, so the next one, Nicolas, jy behoort jou te ska. <laughs> okay, Tiana, you can put it that way, but um, uh, for, for the, this sentence, is actually you need a comma, because remember the rule is after a name, there should always be a comma. So um, so just like Angelina typed it there, Nicolas, jy behoort jou te ska. So there you go, Nicolas, jy behoort jou te ska. And with a full stop in the end. Um, okay, it's okay, Tiana. Don't worry about the typos. Okay, that is correct. Next one. Jelle moet mos van vlees. Jelle hou mos van vlees of hoe? Listen to my voice. Jelle hou mos van vlees of hoe? Mm -hmm. Only one thing that that sentence needs. Take him to the hospital. He's sick. Correct, Tiana. <laughs> you are correct. So um, type the sentence. Jelle hou mos van vlees of who? I always talk to myself when I when I type. It's very funny. There you go. Next one. Jan, wanneer gaan jij die skottelgoed was? <laughs> Jan, wanneer ga jij die skottelgoed was? It needs two stuff. It needs two stuff. Thank you, Vizana. Look at number seven, please. Right, Jan, wanneer gaan jij die skoddelgoed was? Correct, Tiana. Um, guys, again, Tiana, just remember to type in the correct stuff there. If you type, remember what I said to you guys, and it's not just Tiana, I see Fizana as well, and I love you guys, that's why I'm saying this. When you see the spelling here, you must copy it correctly here. Okay, 
Jan, komma, wanneer gaan jij die skot, oeh, look at me now, toch goed was. Um, Tiana, don't worry, you, shouldn't, you needn't say sorry. I'm, I'm just making sure that you, that you know that. Uh, because my fingers, if, if I type quickly, then I forget that. So don't worry, my dear. There is the answer. The next one. Ek hou van groente, maar nie van vruchte nie. Okay, there is my type. You see now, Tiana. That should be groente. Groente, maar nie van vruchte nie. Okay. Ek hou van groente. Maar nie van vruchte nie. Because I made a typo, I'm just going to give you the answer here. And um, ek hou van groente, maar nie van vruchte nie. So in front of the maar, there should be a comma. Right. Okay. Ek hou van groente, maar nie van vruchte nie. Next one. Aina, dit is seer. What would that one be? Sorry for my typo, guys. Um, Aina, dit is seer. What would that be? What's, what's going on there? We had an example like this. We had an example like this. Okay, yes, Fizana, there should be a comma. And remember, when we use an um, attestant verb at the beginning of the sentence, then you can use um, Tiana. Um, I don't think that's necessarily wrong, but the correct is Aina. That is seer. Remember, it's an exclamation sentence. So, yeah, you, you actually need to put a comma in here. Angelina, you are correct. Thank you, Fizara, Tiara, Angelina, for participating. Next one. Ek het twee rand 50 in my beersie. Very easy one. Ek het twee, and then there should be a comma. 50 in my beursie. Do you see there? Remember, it's a, it's a, um, um, it should, no, it's okay, Tiana, don't worry. A comma between the two and the 50 because it divides rand and cent from each other. There you go. Next one. Dit is as gevolg van haar dat ek nie kan gaan nie. So that is a um, afkorting. And remember, I said with afkortings, uh, something should be put in there. Um, dat ek nie kan gaan nie, and then there should be another thing in there. The sentence is very sick, guys. It must go to the hospital. It needs a whole new transplant here. It's a very sick sentence. Have a look. Number 11. I'm very worried about that sentence. Very sick, very sick. That off-courting there. What do you call an off-courting in English? I need your help with English, guys. Sometimes I, I surprise myself. What do you call an afkorting in English? Abbreviation, I think. Nee. So there's an abbreviation in that sentence that needs some attention. Thank you, Tiana. Dit is as gevolg van haar dat ek nie kan gaan nie. Ek heb Fizana almost there, but that abbreviation needs some attention. He needs to go for an entire makeover. Okay, I'm going to give you the answer there. Remember with abbreviations, that is three actual words that they are, that is, uh, that's actually given there. As, dot, of full stop, gevolg, van, you see there, um, and then haar, dat ek nie kan gaan nie, and then a full stop. So this sentence needed a lot of full stops. Remember with the abbreviations, it's three words, as, gevolg, van. Okay, you need to, uh, well, we'll do, um, we'll do abbreviations just to make sure that you guys understand that sometime. Ja, ons kan maar saam gaan, number 12. Ja, ek kan, maar ons kan maar saam gaan. Remember after a ja and a nee, what's going to happen? And at the end of that sentence, there's something. <laughs> Tiana, don't worry. <laughs> okay, what do you say? What should that sentence? It's a sick sentence. I remember we are the doctors now. We're fixing this.
Okay, so Tiana said, ja, komma, ons kan maar saam gaan, um, with a full stop at the end, correct. Fizana, um, remember the comma behind the ja, and then um, Angelina, you've done it correctly as well, and then a full stop Fizana at the end. Okay, I'm not even going to type this one, um, just what Angelina said there, that is the answer, ja, komma, ons kan maar saam gaan, very well done. How jy van die Avengers? Do you like the Avengers? This is a very easy one. Let's see. Let's see. What is this answer going to be? How yay from the Avengers? Do you like the Avengers? Okay, Tiana, I get what you're saying there. How yay from the Avengers? Correct. It needs a question mark. So number 13 only needs a question mark correct okay then number 14 this is a very long sentence die tani het gaan inkoopies doen want sy benodig bestanddele vir haar kos only two things that that sentence needs die tani het gaan inkoopies doen want sy benodig bestanddele in haar kos i'm just going to type it so long but i'm not going to put in Okay. This sentence is also very sick. It needs attention. What do you say, Doctors Angelina, Tiana, Fazina? What do you say? Mulihe, Min, Khumapele, you are all doctors. What does the sentence need? I'm very worried about him. I see two things that, that it needs. Die tanni het gaan inkopies doen, want sy benodig bestanddele. Ma'am, a comma. Okay, where do you say the comma? Okay, so, so comma peli, the comma is going to be where? Angelina gave us the answer there. Comma in front of the wand, correct. And then a full stop at the end, correct. Uh, Angelina, thank you so much. And I think um, this will be the last one. Come here. Come here. Thank you, Tiana. The last one, number 15. Come here. <laughs> okay, come here. This is a very easy one. This is a, a opdracht, a bevel. So at the end, it's going to have what? You are giving somebody an order. And the order always gets an exclamation. Thank you, Tiana. And then um, who also, yeah, okay. And, and that is it. That is it for today. Quickly take, um, okay, you can't take a picture of this because the answers are not here, but um, you have it in the check chat box. Listen to me carefully. So, no, Fizana, I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. Thank you for this lesson. Take care, masks on, sanitize your hands, stay indoors, it's cold, and remember to visit the drive if there's something you need, and then also my email address. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for this lesson. Goodbye.